In this video, we'll discuss CAD layering and how to map CAD layers to available cut processes in Pronest. Pronest's main function is to create machine-readable NC code, a CNC file that can be sent to your cutting machine and fabricated. Pronest takes CAD geometry that you provide and then converts it into NC code. When bringing CAD files into Pronest, you have to tell Pronest how to interpret that CAD geometry for cutting. So let's start by taking a look at settings. So in Pronest LT, open the settings dialog. On the left, look at the machine processes. All of the cut, scribe, or mark processes supported by your Pronest machine will be shown here directly underneath the machine item. These would match the capabilities of your real world machine. So my current setup here is a PowerMax and it has a single cut process called Plasma Cut. Um, it's not capable of marking, but if I had a machine that supported marking, that would show up right underneath Plasma Cut as another available process. Your settings page will probably differ based on your machine manufacturer and the processes that you're using. Now let's look at the Importing Parts settings page. So click Importing Parts. And those same machine processes are shown in the column on the left. So I have an item called cut-plasma cut. That's my machine's primary cut process. In the box directly to the right, any CAD layers that I want mapped to that cut process are listed. So anything that's found on the cut, zero, or one layer in the CAD file will be automatically assigned to this plasma cut process when that part is imported. Let's take a look at a sample CAD file. Okay, here I have a CAD file and there's a dedicated layer for each process. So this was drawn so that all of the cut geometry, so there's an exterior and an interior profile here, they appear in red, and those are on the cut layer. So that's called cut, and that's mapped to the cut process in Pronest. Also, there's scribe geometry in green, and then punch geometry in blue. Again, these are separate layers in CAD. All right, and then returning to the settings dialog, over here on the right, I have those same layer names called out here and then assigned to the cut process. So again, anything found on the cut zero or one layer would be mapped to the plasma cut process. My machine doesn't have marking, so that scribe layer will most likely be ignored when the part is imported. You can add additional layers here just by typing in the box. For instance, if you drew everything that needed to be cut on a layer called burn, you could just enter that here. Use a semicolon to separate layer names. Just enter the term and be sure to save your changes. Okay, now anything found on the burn layer would also be mapped to the plasma cut process during import. 